Yeah, I'm right on it. Steady too. There's 470. Two, two of them right there. 470, Eric. 470? Yep. Are you sure? Yeah, let me just double check. That's 7 MOA, and that's a big doe right there, too. There's 470 to 475 is what I'm getting. Okay. That's a big doe square on with us right now. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, don't you do it. Are you shitting me? All right, you got a new range on her? New ranger, hold on. 500. 496. Gotcha. I'm on it. Yep. That all one right. that stepped out spooked her as all. Well. Yep. I'm going to wait for her to quarter away a little bit. Actually, that's not a bad shot. That's a right good there. angle. Ready? Yep. Oh, wait for it. Right here. Done. Absolutely flattened her, dude. Good job. Done. I knew the 300 would do it too, man. Dude. Wow. Flattened her. Nice work. The other two don't even know what the hell's going on. Yeah, they have zero clue. Dude, she's not even like hardly twitching or anything. Get back on her. <laughs> the other two don't even know what the hell's going on. Dude, wait till you see this vapor trace. It's insane. Dude, that might be that dude, that's another big doe right there. I want to take her. Oh. Oh, she's going to take off. You got two doe tags? I do. Let me range that one. 510 yards for that one. So basically the same. Same dope? Same dope. Should I take her? Yeah, go right there. All right, you ready? Yep. Got her. Got her. She ain't going to go very far. Dude, there goes another couple huge ones. <laughs> yeah, you need to take some dough off this farm, Eric. Well, I'm pr how, how that second shot looked really good, oh, too. Oh, yeah, she ain't going to make it very far, man. The other one, I think you just connected with the shoulder more. This, yeah. Yeah. this one was more lungs. Yep. Oh. Well. <laughs> good old Tika 300 wind mag. And, uh, yeah, we laid one right out in the middle of the field, 500 yards, and the other one was just past that. I got looking through that second one. I was like, man, she looks pretty big, too, so. I think yeah. that second one's actually bigger. Like, yeah. dude, she come out, and I was like, are you, like, she looked like a freaking moose. <laughs> I was like, holy smokes. Oh, I don't even have my bike right here with me. Hopefully, right. hopefully and, I'm picking up the. No, that sounds pretty good. All right. Well, anyway. Some of you guys have been on our channel for a while, probably recognize this rifle. This is the old Tika 300 mag I had pretty much since the start of our channel. Uh, it's got Bell and Carlson stock on it. And I just quit shooting it over the last few years because we've been running so many different guns and whatnot. But this year I decided to put this here uh, loophole 6 to 18 power VX Freedom on. Got her good and dialed in there a couple months ago. Nice tight five shot group at 100 yards and got it all chronographed in and everything and I verified it at 400 yards so I was really comfortable, really uh, confident with this rifle and it's always been awesome for me so um, yeah like I said scope's brand new, something interesting I just want to point out is that these uh, 6 to 18 power VX Freedoms, are they only weigh 17 ounces which is incredible for that high of a magnification so this rifle nice and light is that those wheeler rings you got there uh yeah yeah i think i caught these on sale for like 15 bucks or something like that so i was like yeah i gotta try them out and but uh yeah this is a tried and true rifle here i've got probably well over 800 rounds to it you know when i was really anal about keeping track and yeah, she's just as good as the day I bought it, that's for sure. And, oh, man. Well, now we got 
We got some work to do, Eric. Now we got some work to do. That's two 500 yard slammers right there, dude. That was sweet. <laughs> Well, I mean, why not, man? I was yeah. already set up, and yep. especially after I dumped that first one, I'm like, a second one they ain't no problem. Yep, and I mean, we saw those four or five small bucks earlier, but clearly there's a, a assortment of does on this yeah. property, so. Yeah, I wasn't going to try to shoot a buck unless it was something. Okay. Something mature. Yeah, yeah, and. That's two four-and-a-half-year-old doe right there, probably, or older. I mean, that second one was a monster. And, I mean, normally I would probably, you know, I didn't really want to take a 500-yard shot, but, I mean, the wind died down, and laying down here with a bipod and sandbag, I mean, that's how how I've trained over the years, shooting woodchucks and everything. So I knew both of them shots were solid. So, Whew. yeah, I'm pretty happy. Got her. She ain't gonna go very far. Well, guys, first one pretty easy to find. This is the one I dropped. She 500 yards. And I receive not an exit wound, surprisingly, but that's a 178 grain Amax bullet. It's basically an overgrown varmint bullet. As a matter of fact, Hornady doesn't even make them anymore, but I've got plenty in stock. Obviously, did the number on this deer. Let's see if we can find the entrance here. Pretty good size, man. Oh, yeah, she's not a bad doe. Oh, yeah. But I favored the shoulder shot. Oh, yeah. Look yeah. That little hump right, right there. Here, right here, yep. Right there's where I hit her. I think. Oh, yeah. Maybe you can feel it. Yeah. Yep, right in there. Yep, right there's, right there it is. And Check that is squishy right there. Oh, my God. There's the. Yep. Yeah, that's real squished. So she's uh you might have buggered up your tendies a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just, you know, obviously I wanted to put her down. So I went for a little more of a high shoulder shot. It pretty much hit exactly where I was aiming. Now the second one ran off a little bit, but Garrett got really good footage of both of these deer. And when, on the replay we seen that I hit, hit double lung, so I don't think she made it very far. As far as I remember, she was about 10 yards behind this one. Kind of back in here a little bit. There's a horn right here. So I think I found exactly where she was standing. Where, where do you got blood? Oh yeah, right, right here. Oh yeah. Maybe by your feet, I don't know. No, it's right there. I would think that this one exited if I oh, didn't get 100% shoulder. Oh, 100% accident. See, look at all the blood. Oh, yeah. Good blood trail all the way through there. Look at all that blood right there. Like, oh, yeah, she came, she came in right here. Yeah. I'm betting you she didn't make it very far. Oh, yeah. You got a good trail. I do wish she didn't run right through the stick shit. And there she is. Found her? Yep. Nice. I need to try to work a few flies. Oh, yeah. Really, really? I mean, not much of a blood trail to speak of, really, but the question is always, well, she's a lot bigger than that first one. Holy crap. Dude, yeah. that's a freaking beast. Well, I'm glad we don't have to drag her too far. Perfect entrance right there. Just behind the shoulder. And, you know, honestly, she might have only been bleeding out of that one side. We'll have to flip oh, her around here and, her see, over and see. see if we got an exit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you exited. Maybe not. That's mushed. It might not have exited. There's a big hole right here. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I started feeling it. There we go. Yep. So, nice. I mean, not over, over damaged. No. But I can say this about those Amex, if you're too close, boy, they're they're yeah. like grenades going off. 
So nice, man. We got two, got one really big doe and another good one. So I'm pretty happy, happy to get that uh, 300 mag out once again. And uh, yeah, glad she's uh, dialed in, making good shots still. Even to this day, I've had that gun for going on 10 years now. So uh, yeah, it's good to get out once again. Drop a couple doe, both at 500 yards. Can't really get much better than that. I know we don't pump out a lot of videos anymore like we used to, but like I said, when I do put out a video, I like to put out quality. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, I'd like to thank uh, my buddy Ray for letting us hunt over here. I'd like to thank Garrett for the good footage he pulled off today. He's got a new camera he's been working with. And yeah, it's been good hunting anyway. All right, let the fun begin. Yep. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.